Water Wise City is basically is a set of principles that, that, that try to outline how to work with water in the cities across the sectors. I would like water professionals to take a good look at those principles, what's in there, um, get, get, get your head inside this framework of understanding, then I'd like you to share that with at least 10 of your mates, your colleagues or your clients and we start to get this ripple effect. What we're tr about trying to do is share knowledge so that we all become more water wise. It's just a really great chance to be in a room with so many thought leaders, so many decision makers. We're here to collaborate, we're here to make sure that water utility leaders can learn from each other and uh, influence the policy debates, influence the cities that we live in, the communities that we live in, so that our customers are achieving great, great outcomes. One of the important things for WaterNet is to become climate neutral in 2020. It means that we are going to recover energy from the water cycle, from wastewater, from drinking water. We are getting new materials from the wastewater. I think it's a very good mix between technical presentations, uh, presentations on the emerging topics we see right now, so environment, climate change, uh, water reuse. So I think it's a good way to interact with people, to talk about the things we see, solutions we see. We are here to look at uh, the new technologies and also how new ideas from other parts of the world are doing, especially on uh, water treatment, sewerage treatment. And uh, we are glad that we have learned a lot of things from here. And this is not the first time that we have moving around to see all over the world how we can improve our water supply system, especially in the rural areas uh, in our state. Yeah, the book is uh, Experimental Methods in, in Wastewater Treatment. And the book itself is as a PDF, open access, so you can freely download it from the website. And also the videotaped experiments, they're all, in the end, open access, available on the internet, so that everybody in the world can get access to the information and can use it in improving local wastewater treatment uh, capacity. There's no such thing as new water. Water goes round in a cycle. And in many basins across many countries and continents, water is already used multiple times. It's used back into the river, it's taken out and used again. And that can happen six, seven, eight, nine, ten times in some catchments. What happens with potable use is really doing that in a more efficient, effective, and actually a safer way. I felt that water connected people. As an innocent child, I felt that the water I drank, somebody else is drinking distant lands away, perhaps in Australia, that we somehow were connected because we shared the same water, because of the water cycle.